so we have opened the laptop actually this is having 16 gb ram and intel i5 10th generation core i5 10th generation processor so you can see that is the hard disk that initially we have there is 5400 rpm one terabyte and there are the three cell battery here and this is the ram what i am showing so it is 16 gb ram in one slot the other 16 gb is free so you can have a maximum of 32 gb ram you can have so 16 gb on the left and the 16 gb on so now this is the wi-fi hardware there and there's a fan in there and the processor is inside the board the cpu is completely inside yeah so now we are attaching the uh, ssd there so this is a 2.5 inch ssd so which have uh, some uh, four screws to screw the ssd so we have removed the hard disk and we are making the hard disk into an uh, external hard disk by having the sata 2 3.0 so in the meantime we will be attaching the 2.5 inch uh, ssd so it's a kingston and it is 240 gb ssd so that will be attached over there so now when we are screw screwing the particular ssd over there so first the sata cable has to be inserted so this is around uh, 200 mbps speed uh, reading and writing speed so it's a very limited speed there and again we have three screws that is fitting the motherboard so this screw one and there are other two screws So now this is the M.2 SSD, just it is the size of the index finger. So this can able to hold up to 2 terabytes also. So this we are going to insert into this latitude. So latitude 3410 has two different models. So again uh, this M.2 again have two models. So one model having only one cut over there. The other model have two cuts there. That will be having a maximum speed of 550 Mbps. Now this we are going to insert it into this particular laptop here so now we can see there is a center screw there the screw has to be removed it and place it at the end so now what we do is just we have just taken it there and we'll be inserting it at the end in the reverse side so where it will be on the app to screwing position so we have to do this do this way so we have to be careful enough because the hard disk also very small in size the screws also very small in size. once you lose it you may not get the screw in the market so you have to be very careful so now we will take the hard disk there so this hard disk we have to insert into the port so as the port given so exactly it will be fit into it so first please see the specification document of the laptop what are the hard disk support so accordingly you have to do that so once you screw it fit it there so correctly it will be fit in near the screw and just insert the screw into it so once it is done our job is completed So that's all so now once we switch on this laptop it just takes only seven seconds to get it uh, booted so this since it's the first time so after we give the fingerprint it goes inside the windows operating system it takes seven to eight seconds but subsequently it just take one or two seconds for uh, activating the fingerprint so that's all for this video thank you